Welcome back everybody to another All Things Nerd video. As always, my name is Nathan. Welcome back to exploring the world of Azeroth in World of Warcraft. Today's OOB Out of Bounds adventure leads us to the Vault of the Wardens where I made a fresh demon hunter and uh, we are currently out of bounds. Now, where we're currently out is right outside the Vault of the Wardens, right before you fight the uh, final boss of the demon hunter scenario. So if you remember, uh, you start out Demon Hunter, you start on the first island place that you go to, then you teleport to the Vault of the Wardens, you help the Warden out, and then you get to the very end where the boss is. I got out of bounds, and I'm going to show you how to get out of bounds with a clip right here. All right, guys, before we begin our video, real quick, I just want to draw your attention to two things. First, my wife has created a YouTube channel where she is going to be doing uh, art videos weekly and coming out with videos. And I would really appreciate if you could go support her. Her name is Hixa Smith. I will put her link uh, to her channel in the description of the video. Would mean the world to me if you could go over and subscribe. She just released her first video about three days ago. And it was just a spring day in the life of um, us traveling. And uh, she did some art inspiration. And we had a trip up to Mendocino. So definitely go check out her channel. She does some beautiful art. And she has um, she mainly does art in watercolor. So very excited to see her grow and see where her channel goes. The second thing is I want to draw your attention also to Unearthing Invasions. It's a new 3D tower defense game set in space. So if you love tower defense games, this is going to be a brand new game. It's being developed and published by Aquarius Max and Shadowed Souls Studios. If you guys don't know, if you've not met uh, Submerged in the ATN Discord channel, he is one of the developers and publishers behind the uh, game. So definitely go check it out. Um, definitely give it a look on steam uh i have already set to i've already added it to my wish list i'm just not logged in at the moment <laughs> but uh, i'm very excited to try it out uh, he's actually going to be giving me a demo to test out and i uh, can't wait to try it so definitely go check it out unearthing invasions i'll put a link to the steam store uh all right now that you know how to get out of bounds let's go take a look around um i'm, I'm excited to explore this place i've always been wanting to get out of here and check it out um, let's go take a look around and see what we can find. Now, I've actually never been out of here yet, so I'm very excited to see what's actually out here. I don't know about all the death walls. I don't know about you might get teleported back. I don't know anything out here yet, so just uh, be weary that I might find a death wall while we're out here. And uh, yeah, guys, let's go take a look around. I'm very excited for this video, so let's go drop down here and let's go see what's outside. Now, as we make our way outside of the map, you can see a lot of is loaded here because technically we are in uh, Azuna, right? In Legion, but only a very uh, small part of it. Now, I say that, but there could be a lot more out here than I know. Now, unfortunately, I don't think we can actually mount up. But they do keep a, like quite a bit out here. Now, if you remember, actually, at the very end of the scenario, you actually go outside here and you teleport with Khadgar to your capital city. If you made Horde, if you made Alliance. Obviously, we're always playing Alliance, so... We would be teleported to Stormwind. But let's go take a look at the structure up here. We can get under it, but let's go over here first. And if I remember correctly, I don't know exactly where this is. Do they actually keep the inside? No, oh, they do. Okay, so this whole building seems to be rendered. You can go inside of it. 
Let's see if we can go all the way to the top. Okay, it looks like we can. Wait, uh, how far does this tower actually go up? Does seem like it goes up pretty far. And you can see fully the whole map up here, most of it. Wow, this is really awesome. This is where we came out of, or over there, I should say. There's the ending scenario over there, which we will make our way over there eventually. All right, let's go fly down here and see what we can find. I don't know where to go. <laughs> I've never been anywhere out here before, so I'm excited to see what is actually down here. Let's drop down a little bit quicker. Here's the beach area with some... Usually I think water is supposed to be here, but the water is gone because we're out of bounds, obviously. I don't think we can actually mount up, unfortunately. No, we just earned an achievement going down. <laughs> That's cool. It's kind of funny, I keep forgetting we're on a fresh character, so we're going to be earning all these achievements that we already have on our other Demon Hunter. Now, you would think being outside, they would allow you to fly around, but apparently not. As you can see, this is already the edge of the world, and you can actually see our shadow down here. Look at this floating thing in the distance here. Let's go check that out. Now, I don't want to get too close to that way over there because I don't want us to be teleported to the end. Because I don't know if you guys remember, but uh, you actually can't keep going out here. They actually stop you. Anytime you try to fly out from the Cadgar very ending scenario, they actually teleport you back to where you're supposed to be. So. And I don't know if there's death falls out here. I don't know what's out here. So this is all new for me, just like it might be new for you guys. Excuse me here, get some water. It's good to be back, by the way, guys. Sorry for the lack of content lately. Um, I went on a big, I was sick for a couple weeks, if you guys remember. And then I went on vacation. Got out of town with my wife for my birthday, and that was a lot of fun. And so now I'm back, and I'm hoping to get back on schedule with releasing a OOB video every Tuesday and Thursday. Sometimes we'll skip on that schedule. So this is very strange. They do keep a lot of the plant life out here that usually you find in the ocean. Let's go over here, see what we can find. Looks like a cave or something. The only thing is... My problem that I'm having out here is I don't know how I can get back up. So if I drop down here, I don't know if we can get back up, but I guess let's go find out. Wow, okay, so there's some spotlights out here. You guys notice there's two spotlights right here and another spotlight right here. I'm assuming these are supposed to be lamps or some sort of lighted area, usually in like a hut or a building. Really sucks we can't mount up. <laughs> you would think it'd be awesome. You would think you could. Oh, here are some untextured gray space out here. You can see on our... Actually see on the mini-map up here that... I'm assuming you can actually walk all on that. Wow, so that does go pretty far out. Jeez, so this map is actually a lot bigger than I thought it was. But the only thing is, I don't know if there's a way to actually get back up. So let's go, let's go head out this way and see what we can find. There's the edge of the world over here on the right. Now it is very quiet out here. Because the music has stopped altogether. Okay, it looks like we can get up this hill. Well, that's good. Alright, good, 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 good. We can get back up. Good. I'm glad we weren't stuck down there forever. That would have sucked. Let's go check out the shipwreck over here. Let's keep moving up the hill. 
Let's go back into Azuna here. Look at this giant boat just sitting out here. Now, I'm no expert in Azuna. Uh, I did play during the Legion expansion, so obviously I did play through Azuna, but I can't tell you, like, the actual... This is this, and this is that. <laughs> I don't know. But they do keep the whole shipwreck out here. I'm assuming this is usually supposed to be in water. If I had to take a guess. I mean, you can go in here fully. You know, they always keep that uh, singing fish uh, plaque on the ships, I noticed. That's kind of funny. Now, this does look like a cave. Let's go see if we can go in the cave over here. Let's keep making our way out this way. And see what we can find. Just Now, just like if you guys haven't done this, I've never done this, like I said. So, this is all going to be brand new for me. Looks like they do keep a full cave rendered out here. Where are we exactly? Uh... I don't know. On the map, I forgot where we would be, so... Wherever the Vault of the Wardens is. Oh wow, so they do keep the whole cave out here. Look at that. Huh. Ah, how far does this actually go back? Oh, it does actually go out the other side. <laughs> okay. Awesome. Now, where is Vault of the Wardens? Uh, on the map here. I gotta remember. Ooh, look at this. We got a campfire going on with a bunch of fish heads and dead fishes. I think that's the tower that we came to, so I think we did a full circle here. Where haven't we explored yet? We haven't explored out to the right, so let's actually go right. Let's go make our way back up the hill. I w I'm very curious to see if anything happens if you actually go back to the... Uh, actually, let's head out this way because it's another shipwreck over here. But I do want to see if we go out to the uh, back to the beginning where you actually do the ending. I wonder if everybody's pre-rendered out there. Like if Cadgar's already standing out here and all the demon hunters and all that. Like, Unless that loads in afterwards, which I'm assuming it does. So here's another shipwreck. It looks very identical to the last one. But let's make our way up the hill here, up the mountains. And let's go take a look straight up here. There we go. It does look like we can climb this, so that's good. And make our way back up, which is nice. So that we can actually see what's going on up here. Ooh, almost fell. Oh, this is a whole cave under here. Okay. Alright, let's go check out the cave first. And then we'll come back up. Wow, this is awesome. But they do keep a lot of Azuna out here. With the statues. the And I'm assuming those are like Nerubian eggs. Um, and you can actually go fully down. And Is this the cave that we already went into? Or is this just the upper part of it, I'm assuming? Wow, so it is full out here. Okay. Well, that's awesome to see. Let's go head back up, because I do want to get back to the beginning area. I want to go show you guys and see if... We actually get... I wonder if we get teleported back inside. That would be very strange. But we might. Who knows? I want to see if we can hit any... Uh, triggers, or we can see any... Crazy stuff going on. This is a really cool OOB. Been wanting to always do this for a while and never been out here yet, so I'm glad I was able to finally do it. Look at this. All right, let's go check. Let's go check inside and see what's going on here. Oh, it looks to be a whole nother tower, and it looks to be very identical to the other one. 
But let's go up here and see what we can find. Maybe there's something hidden. A lot of times in these OOBs, as you guys know, they hide a lot of untextured things or objects or, you know, test uh, night elves or test humans or gnomes or whatever. There's like crazy things going on out here. There's another good view of the whole map. Unfortunately, it is raining and foggy, so we can't see everything. But let's go fly down this way, and let's go to the ending area. Which I believe is over here. Yeah, that looks it right there. Huh. I'm curious to see if it's going to, like, port us back in. <laughs> That'd be kind of funny. So that's the ending right there. That's where you actually walk out to. In Azuna there. Uh, it doesn't look like it's doing anything yet. Because we actually haven't triggered the ending. So none of this is loaded in technically, right? And there goes the Hearthstone. Or the Summoning Stone, I guess you could say. There's another cave over here. It's kind of trippy. I mean, there's like a bird's nest over here as well. With a bunch of different feathers going on. Let's climb up here. See if there's anything on the back side. Oh, that does go pretty far down. Wow. Okay. Before we go head down there. Oh, and there is another building out there in the distance. So we do gotta head down there, and we need to go head over there. So let's go check out the ending area first. I wanna see if it's going to teleport us. If it is, um, I will cut the video, and I'll get back out here so you guys can see the rest. Uh, but let's go fly down here first. And if you guys remember, this is the ending of the scenario. Oh, it does teleport, yeah. Gosh dang. Okay, so now we know. What's funny is, though, this door is already open as well. Huh. So everything... Alright, let's see if we can... Can we get back out? Ooh. Okay. Alright. So we can get to the end. But... Oh, so you can go out anyways. Okay. But it does teleport you back in. Okay. All right, guys. Give me one sec. I'm going to get back outside, and I'll see you in a minute. All right, guys. We are back. Sorry about that. Um, we are back outside, and we're going to go continue to take a look around and see what we can find. Now, you can't get another shot of the outside of this scenario here. We're going to go fly down here and see what's kind of going on in this beach area. Let's go fly down here and take a look. There is another area over there, which I don't think we've been to yet. But let's make our way out that way. Now, this is the edge of the map. So, we gotta make our way out this way. The only thing is, though, I don't know if we can actually make our way over there. From here, we might have to go all the way back around. But, uh, if we do, I will spare you guys the... Ooh, okay. Looks like we're going back to the map there. Let's go fly out this way. Let's go see what we can find. I'm trying not to clip back into the uh, scenario here. Because I don't want to restart everything again and go back up the elevator. And uh, So we're going to see if we can get up this mountain here without having to do that. There is a drop off box over here as you can barely make out. Maybe we can go down there and check that out. 2-0! -oh! Almost fell. Alright. The only thing is, can we make that jump is the absolute question. Well, actually, I don't think we have to. I think we can just fly over here. And then we can make our way up here. Nice. Okay, so we're doing good. So let's make our way up this way. Oh, we gotta be super careful here. Because if we go out here, we might fly back into the map. And that's not what we want to do. So let's... Oh gosh, okay. Alright. I think we're okay out here. Oh. 
Ooh. Okay, we got to back up here. Gosh, dang it. Can't see where I'm going. Okay. Think we're okay here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, no. Don't drop. Alright, we need to make our way up this way. We have both felt rush charged. We do. So let's jump up. Felt rush charge again. Nice. Okay, we still got it. We still got it. Making our way up the mountain. Okay. Let's get over there. And then uh, we can get up here and see what's up here. Oh, this is going to be awesome to see. So let's go check this out. Um, okay. We don't want to drop back down. So let's go over here. And we made up. Nice. Okay. So we did make our way up here. Um, oh, gosh. Okay. Let's not go that way. Gosh, I don't know where we're at. Okay. Let's back up here. Let's go head out back this way, actually. Because we keep, we keep going back into the scenario. So let's go make our way up the hill here. And there we go. We are officially up here now. Nice. Okay, so we did make it up to this area. I don't know. I don't remember exactly what this area is in Azuna. So maybe someone can tell me. But it looks like everything is fully modeled and rendered out here. I do see the edge of the world over here as well. It's a good drop off there. Oh, and there actually is some water underneath here. There's some water right here, which I kind of would be afraid to go in there because I think that's all DC, unfortunately. Oh, gosh. Where are we? Oh, okay. So we're actually above one of the rooms you go into to fight the uh one of the bosses okay well let's not point our camera down that way let's keep going up as long as we stay above ground i think we should be okay we don't want to go back into the boss room but if we fly that way we might oh yeah because this is all caved out you guys can see it's kind of carved out of the mountain here so what we kind of want to do is actually go out this way Oh no, I think we just failed, unfortunately. Oh, that's strange. We already defeated this guy, but he actually resets. Okay, we just flew back into bounds. <laughs> All right, guys, we need to get back out again. Um, you know what? I'm just gonna end the video there because I don't think there's too much more to see because we did fly back in, um, unfortunately. Didn't mean to do that. But what's cool is here, we can actually just take the the elevator back up and we missed it but that's okay so anyways guys this is the vault of the wardens and the demon hunter intro scenario i just want to thank you guys for all the love and support you've been showing the channel for 5,000 subscribers is amazing can't wait to get to 10,000. and uh thank you as always so anyways guys i'll see you in the next video take care